Sweeval in the comments says, Minnesota next. No one will notice their lineup gets completely changed either way. That's a low blow. Let's go, Minnesota. Let's do this. If we're gonna do every single team, we're gonna have to do the ones that aren't as exciting as Toronto and Vancouver and Montreal. So here we are with arguably the most boring team of the last 20 years. There goes all eight of my Minnesota Wild subscribers. All trades accepted with the Minnesota Wild. Now they have some massive contracts on their hands. They got Ryan Suter, they got Zach Parise. They got some big bucks they're paying out. Now Parise is pretty good. Is 7.5 for the next five more years good no uh, but I did add one player in particular one player that might just change the face of the Minnesota Wild that is Krill Kaprizov a young stud from the KHL so if you know about him you'll know he is a very very good he should be coming over to North America this year or next year but uh, I think the 83 overall is well deserved I don't think it's underrated I think it's right where he should be at he's putting up insane numbers in the KHL. If you think it should be 81 or 82, I understand, but I like high scoring players, so therefore 83 overall. Defensively, looking like this, pretty good defensive category. I don't think we're going to see many players left on this roster. And we have newly acquired Cam Talbot. Uh, who do we got scratched here? No one special. So I think we're going to see, hopefully, we'll see Parise and Suter be traded, but I can't see it happening. I think a lot of these players are going to be poached, though, like Nick. Bustad, Ryan Hartman, Jordan Greenway. So let's get into the simulation with the Minnesota Wild and let's accept some trades. It's funny, usually when I pimp out the trade block, there's some players that have some high trade values, but there's not a lot on this poor sad team. They do have Marco Rossi coming up though, so that's kind of exciting for Minnesota Wild fans. Minnesota Wild fan. Is there plural? Is there two? I'm just kidding, Minnesota. I love you. In all trades accepted, we've only had one team to make the playoffs. And if we keep making trades like this, I don't think it's going to continue here. But Jonas Brodin to the Kings for a second and a fourth. That's a big defenseman gone. Maybe someone should send an offer for Ryan Suter. We end up getting Connor Timmons, who's a nice young defenseman, a third and a sixth for Joel Erickson Eck. That one hurts. Oh boy, Minnesota, you're being poached real quick. Kalen Addison and Shaw. Oh boy, this one could be over fast. So let me know in the comments what team you want us to do for next All Trades Accepted. We can't keep doing all the super exciting teams at the start because soon we're gonna have to deal with all these boring teams. So let's get someone out of the way, leave a funny comment, and maybe we'll ruin another organization. So we're actually winning games. Uh, we're four and two here. Nothing on the trade front right now, but I don't know how we're winning. And there's a move. Okay, we bring in Jordan Stahl. Okay, so the second stall to play for the Minnesota Wild. They obviously had Eric Stahl before. We have to give up Victor Rask. Marco Rossi is way too damn good to be throwing in this deal, but Jordan Stahl is going to help out this year, so that's not bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kaprizov, the young stud who's supposed to save this team. We send him to the Vegas Golden Knights where he's going to thrive with Mark Stone and Max Pacioretty. Oh boy. All right, Marc-Andre Fleury, my favorite goalie, he's coming back. That one hurts. That hurts deep. Deep in my soul. Uh, we lose arguably our best player. That sucks. Oh yeah, another goalie, for sure. Absolutely, Elvis Merzlikens. Come on down. We have ourselves quite a goalie carousel right now. Cam Talbot, Marc-Andre Fleury, Alex Stalock. We get a second from the Ottawa Senators. Oh boy. I wish we would have got a forward back. That would have... Uh, I would have made that trade a little bit better. Flurry's gonna help out, but that was basically the only offensive weapon. Another second, there you go. Marcus Felino, get out of here. This is just simply a cap dump. Jared Spurgeon, who is signed until the end of time, basically for a second, and Luke Glendening. Oh boy. So we get rid of Spurgeon and Kaprizov, but we bring back Duncan Keith and Brandon Peary. Uh, Keith is definitely going to help, obviously, since we got rid of Jared Spurgeon. And we're actually a good team. What? How does this team look on paper? Let's have a look at the roster. So surprisingly, the team doesn't actually look that terrible. Is it better than the team we started with? Uh, the defense with Keith looks nice. I mean... 
could we see the playoffs with the Minnesota Wild? What the hell? We started with both these goalies, now they're both scratched. You love to see it. Oh, we bring in Matthew Barzell. What's the date? Oh man, a first and a third for Matty Barzell. Is it past December 1st? Oh, it is. We can't even sign him. This happens every single time. Oh man, you hate to see it. We can't even sign Barzell. Imagine we had Barzell right now. Oh, why does the computer do that? That sucks. We can't even give the poor guy a contract. <laughs> oh, he would have helped out so much. You gotta make that deal before December 1st. What are you doing, Billy Garen? Oh my God. Worst GM ever. Are the Minnesota Wild seriously gonna be the team to win the cup and all trades accepted? The Minnesota freaking Wild? Okay, this is gonna take a huge chunk out of our playoff dreams. Kevin Fiala and Ryan Suter for a second and Hudobin, another goalie. We don't need a goalie. Oh my God, that's the last thing this team needs is another goaltender. Taylor Ferdoon, I'm gonna take him. I'll take anything I can get right now. Oh man, losing Ryan Suter. I said I wanted to trade him the start of the episode but seeing how good we were doing but okay actually we bring in Kyle Palmieri and Dmitry Kulikov I guess that's okay oh man that hurts that hurts big time all right we finally trade away a goalie Cam Talbot he's going to the Columbus Blue Jackets uh, in exchange for David Savard that's actually gonna help out now that we traded Ryan Suter why are the Minnesota Wild making good trades what's going on Casey Tzizekas, I guess that'll help out. Adam Pellich is all right as well. Um, yeah, crazy. How are we kind of a good team? So the defense isn't quite as good as it once was, nor is the offense. Losing out on Kevin Fiala really hurts, but we're still in a playoff spot, so let's see what can happen here with the Minnesota Wild. Back-to-back -back shutouts, 6-0 and then 5-0. What's in the water in Minnesota? What's going on? Oh, we trade away Jordan Greenway. This team is slowly falling apart. You hate to see it. And we trade away Matt Dumba for Sam Gagne. You really hate to see it. But we bring in Travis Zajac, so that's exciting. Poor Minnesota. It looks so good, and then it all came crumbling down. And there goes our leading scorer, Zach Parise, for a guy I've never heard of and a second round pick. I'm sorry, Minnesota. I tried. Tried. I really did. I think it's all but over 31, 22, and 7, but I think we are going to start to shit the bed without Zach Parise right now. All right, headed into the trade deadline once again. You guys know the drill. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. If any crazy trades happen, I will also let you know. But let's sit back and wait for some offers to come our way. The Flyers trade two firsts to Arizona for Keith Yandel. Oh, I don't know about that one, Philly. The Buffalo Sabres trade Taylor Hall and Brandon Montour to the Predators for two seconds, Philip Tomasino, and a third. That's a blockbuster. Oh, we finally got an offer, and it is Nick Letty. All right, I'll take that for a pair of second round picks. Thank you very much. Another move. Oh my God, we get rid of Ryan Suter, but we bring in another awful contract. Seven million for six more years for Vlasic. I mean, it is only for one year. We're gonna have a nice looking decor, actually. The Oilers make a trade. Trade McDavid. Uh, they trade a first and a second to the Islanders for Josh Bailey. It's not a terrible move, I guess. Well, unfortunately, only the handful of trades came to the Minnesota Wild. Another uneventful trade deadline. Jeff Skinner goes to the New York Rangers, and really there wasn't really a whole lot else. I mean, the Rangers also got P.K. Subban and Nikita Gusev, so they were kind of busy. Chicago got Jonathan Taze, but what I'm worried about, what I'm ready to focus on, is the Minnesota Wild potentially making a playoff run here with this crazy team that we have now. Now we're 30, what are we, 32, 24, and 7. Miraculously, we're an okay team, but we lost some big additions. I think our defense is going to be absolutely nasty. We got Vlasic, we got Letty, uh, but our forward core is, uh, yeah, not looking great. Sam Gagne, first line forward. Oh, man. Uh, I got to fix up these lines. We have Adam Pellick, a defenseman, playing on the forward core. I got to fix this up. I got to make this team ready to go towards the postseason. Hopefully, Hopefully we make it. I gotta call up a forward in exchange for Adam Pellick, and then we're gonna get the rest of this sim done. Maybe we'll make the playoffs. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I started this, I did not think the Minnesota Wild would be a playoff team. We're 33, 24, and seven. We got a little over a month and a half left of sim done. 
Let's go for it. Minnesota for postseason. How the hell are we just dummying teams? Oh my God. 38, 28, and 8. We're going to make the playoffs. We get into the postseason with the last wild card spot in the Central. 94 points. And the Minnesota Wild are headed to the postseason after absolutely having their roster decimated. We're up here against Taylor Hall and the Nashville Predators. I didn't mean to sim that game. I meant to go check out the player stats, but we'll get the playoffs done after we check out the player stats. Uh, Kyle Palmieri had a career year, 36 goals. It's crazy. I really didn't think this team was going to be a postseason team, but hey, here we are. Uh, as for goaltenders, we had a thousand goalies throughout the year, but here's how the main ones looked. Marc-Andre Fleury looking good in the Minnesota Wild uniform. That sounds weird to say. All right, let's check out the entire league just for fun. Kata Hot led the way. As for rookie skaters, we got Lafreniere and Kaprizov. Oh man, you hate to see it. He had 38 points in 72 games uh, as a member of one of the Vegas Golden Knights. He had 14 and 19 though, so a much better Minnesota Wild player if you ask me. As for all skaters, I'm going to guess, let's say Crosby, just for fun. It's Leon Dreisaitl followed by Connor McDavid. How foolish of me to bet against Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid. All right, let's get the postseason done. I mean, maybe we do something. Maybe we're already down one nothing to Nashville. It's a miracle we made the playoffs. I can't believe it. Like Vancouver, Edmonton, we all didn't make the playoffs. It's crazy. Just the Minnesota Wild and the Toronto Maple Leafs are playoff teams. And we are down 2-1 to one here up against Nashville. They can put a stranglehold on the series, and they do just that. Going into game number five, that's going to be it. The Cinderella story is all but over. You hate to see it. You know what? Let's say go Nashville for Stanley Cup. They got Taylor Hall. They've never won a cup before. Let's go Nashville. Let's see who wins this all Let's see who wins the Lord Stanley. And the Philadelphia Flyers, once again, are Stanley Cup champ. I think they won the cup in the last sim as well. Interesting. So we traded away our first round pick, so we're not going to be even involved in the draft lottery. Oh, just kidding. We actually got a first uh, from, the, from the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we actually picked seventh, Florida, Arizona, Chicago. Thanks for watching. What team do we do next? You know, maybe the boring teams aren't so bad because this team surprised me. We're a playoff team here in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.